This is Key Connie Hero, also known under his stage name, the Poetic Assassin. This interesting song is called Inverdian Darkness, one of a handful of tracks Key recorded approximately around 2006. The toy Casio quality backing track and Key's distinct vocals with a harsh Japanese accent created an amusing video that became a YouTube trash classic. But is there more to the story of the poetic assassin? Let's take a look. Let's start by taking a look at the track itself. His subdued performance informs us there's too much blood in his bathroom, too much blood in his room, possibly in his body. The energy of the performance gradually lifts and it's not long before he's exclaiming prison ain't right. prison ain't right. After checking his watch, he truly ramps up the energy. The track hits its crescendo with Key deep into his performance, breaking down and delivering his lines with raw emotion. Please help me. Please take my hand. I wash you my hands over and over. A light bow concludes his emotional outburst. The poetic assassin then returns to his normal life. The poetic assassin has a hologram tattoo. That's the symbol of the band him. Despite being delivered in broken English, these lyrics aren't any accident. They've been thought about with big personal investment. I noticed how he's always reading from a book when he performs, so I decided to look into this. The book he's holding is titled Poet and Killer Chronicles by none other than our number one blood boy, Key Kunihiro. Poet and Killer Chronicles is a legit published work. It was published by Brunswick in 1995. It contains Key's poetry, some of which would later be reworked into songs. The Hungry Machine, Zero Revolution, Poetry Boy, and Inverian Darkness were just some of those. The book is described as a statement of a wandering soul of the 90s. You can find yourself in this book. Key is described as the most hardcore poet of the new generation of beat poetry. It was followed by Poetic Assassin, Poet and Killer 2. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any images of this one online. There is one copy for sale, however, it's very pricey. So let's take a look at what we now know about this man. Ki was born in Harajuku, Tokyo. He studied law at Hosei University and graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Laws. 
These weren't his first books as he published a sci-fi cyberpunk novel in 1986. It was titled Dancing on the Frying Pan. He followed this up with another sci-fi novel, The Terrorist of the Holy Night. It was published in 1990. In 2001, Key performed live in LA, which seems to be his only live performance that isn't a cappella. Around July 2007, Key made some live appearances during what I assumed to be a tour of various open mic nights around LA. Even performs a version of Police on My Back by The Clash. After these performances, he went completely silent and we wouldn't hear from him for a long time. We wouldn't hear anything from Key until March 2012. March 2012 was when Key started performing around Tokyo again. Since those 2012 performances, we have not heard anything from Key. Key's poetry is pretty interesting. The Hunger Machine talks of a machine that wants to feast on the hope that lies above the clouds, a clear nod to religion. The machine takes prestige, money, material goods, but nothing is enough. It devours everything and won't stop. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Kikoni Hiro. The songwriting is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of Japanese US counterculture, most of the lyrics will go over a typical listener's head. There is also Key's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Naradnaya Volia literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these lyrics. To realize that they're not just clever, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Key Cunning Hero truly are idiots. Of course, they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the wit in Key's existential catchphrase, I wash you my hands, over and over, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic, Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of those simpletons scratching their head in confusion as a poetic assassin's genius unfolds itself on their screens. What fools, I pity them. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, click that bell so you actually watch my videos. I'll see you next time. Your neighbor's more money than you. Hate to your neighbor. Hate to your neighbor. Your neighbor's eating a bit of food than you. Cast your neighbor. Cast your neighbor. Your neighbor's fucking a bit of looking Uma. Your neighbor's fucking a bit of looking man than you are. Kill your neighbor and be your neighbor. Oh, hell. The world is falling over the land. The world is falling over the land. Black Titty Boy, we have to do the video of my body. I'm Tito that dark boy. The world is falling. What are you sending there? It's for. 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 And be your neighbor. And be your neighbor.